What's been going on with Aptera? I took about a year off from making videos. I could look all this stuff up on my own, but I thought it'd be more fun to ask some friends who have been keeping track of all of this, what's been going on in the past year. So I asked Drive the Lightning if we could have a quick Zoom call and talk about Aptera, and they were nice enough to take time out of their day to talk to me, and here's how it went. Hey, Drive the Lightning, how you guys doing? Hi, Kaz. Good, Kaz, good to see you. You too, it's been a long time. I kind of disappeared for a year or so there, but I'm back. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you got out early for good behavior, Kaz, yeah. that's good. <laughs> you, you've done us all proud. I was I not in jail. <laughs> We're going to start a rumor in the, in the community here. The year that I wasn't making videos, I also wasn't really paying attention to the EV space okay. um, and Aptera. Just kind of like put that on the back burner. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I could have looked this stuff up on my own, but I thought it'd be more fun to talk to you guys and see what's been going on in the world of Aptera. I know you guys don't work for Aptera, so I'm not expecting like perfect answers or anything like that, but just in what you've been observing, um, you know, the videos that you've been making, maybe you have some answers. So, okay, so let's see, do you guys know how the funding is going these days? Thumbs up. One? Yeah, that's how it's going. Next question. Oh, hey. <laughs> no. What is that? I don't know what that is. I just put my thumbs up and... Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. How about this? How about this? Wow. That's a good one. Oh, wow. Technology. Okay, funding. Um, yes. Been exciting. Yeah, it has been exciting. Yep. Chris Anthony recently did an update and announced that they have secured um, financing with U.S. capital. Right. And because of that, they are going to be closing the window for the crowdfunding on June 30th. So there's going to be an investor seminar for those who are invested. Um, the invitations are supposed to go out June 1st, and then the meeting will be on June 6th. Uh, but you have until June 30th if you want to put in any more money through, if you choose to invest, not advice, just information, um, through the crowdfunding option. That's a big deal, Kaz, that shutting down the crowdfunding, because as you know, that's been the backbone it's been like a faucet that Aptera churned on a couple of years that never stopped running cash. Uh -huh. They're always raising money. We had Sarah Hardwick on our channel a few weeks ago and nice. talking about raising a hundred million dollars in just two years through crowdfunding. That's that's pretty amazing. So for them to turn that spigot off uh, to go with a, a more simplified way, uh, they're very very confident. This means they're going to have the money to go with production. So it's exciting news. It's sad that it's no longer just completely community backed mm. at, by regular folks that can afford, mm -hmm. I think just a couple hundred bucks through one of their, through Republic or one of their funding campaigns you could have invested. And now you're going to have to be, you know, probably an accredited, accredited investor, investor. but investor. it's going to get to production. So for those of us who put in our little tiny couple of bucks we can afford, we're looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. Yes, cool. it's very exciting. And I recently heard an interview with Steve Anthony. He was on um, Aptera Owners Club, and they were talking about the reason it was it not possible to run those concurrently. And Chris Anthony explained that they were advised not to try to do that because there's different requirements um, and different um, things. Um, what's the word I'm trying to look it, for? It, compliance. That is the whole word I was looking for. There it is. To mu make sure that the compliance stays in line. Having one form of funding, they'll be able to keep up with the compliance requirements. That was easy. That's great that the funding seems to be going strong and that's very important. Without the money, you can't have a car. So <laughs> True. Um, that's what they keep telling me. Yeah. <laughs> Have there been, uh, do you know if there's been any new like technological advances with either the design or whatever? It flies new? now. Yeah, it flies now. No, well, they did send a beta over to Italy to have it tested by this company that does just that, validate suspension in real world uh, activities. So they had it for quite a while and they ran it, ran it, ran it, ran it, ran it. And according to Chris Anthony, they came back with just a few minor tweaks from what was already there which have been implemented. So the suspension has been dialed in a little bit. There's been some changes to the way the uh, battery pack looks. That's uh, nothing any of us consumers will ever see, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully. I mean, if you, if you could see your battery pack, you've done something wrong <laughs> yeah. changing the tire, you know. <laughs> but uh, I, other than that, I don't think there's been any major design changes at all since, since you were 
following it closely. Okay, no like advancements in solar panels or anything like that that we know of. Not that we know of. That's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not that we know of. Because again, none of us work at Aptera, so. Right. I'm trying to think. There wasn't any major changes to solar panels. They've got them actually where you can see it now in the display coming into the car, mm -hmm. juicing the battery, and you can see how much you're getting, which is good. Mm -hmm. so Real-world testing will be what really tells us what we'll get. Yeah. And you did see, or didn't you, I'm not sure about the timing with the uh, hail testing that they put the solar panels through to show they're much more durable than your typical glass or glass panels or regular solar panels that yeah. go on the house. Man, they're flexible too. It's crazy. It was really yeah. impressive. It's crazy. I don't think I've seen that yet, but good to know. I, we never get hail over here, but... Good to know if I'm never, somewhere you do. Never say never, never say Cass. never. never say Things never. change fast around here. That's true, yeah. That's true. Um, well, yeah, in, in the last at least year, but we have been, prices just in general for everything have been increasing. Um, do you guys know, have they changed the prices on the models at all yet? They haven't told us. We've been steadily anticipating paying about 37 or more for the launch edition, but that really doesn't come from anywhere other than some off comments we've heard from Steve Fambro when he was interviewed on other channels or on TV, saying somewhere in the high 30s, I think, is what we're thinking. But we don't. again, we don't know. Uh, I don't think it'll matter to about the first 40,000 people. I think you could price it wherever you want because people are so excited. And after that, it's going to start to matter quite yeah, a bit. But, but then... no, no, no published changes, right? No, I don't no. believe so. Not last time I checked. Uh, and... Once you get, like Chad said, I think there's a whole bunch of people that aren't going to be terribly, terribly concerned. And then once we get through that, we might be at a point where they can start building the lower spec ones that will have a lower price. So yeah, maybe that uh, that still might be a possibility. See how she says we? Like, I do say like we. Because that, that, like she's there, she's in Carlsbad, she's churning a wrench, you know. She has, I think I said. But I don't work for Aptera. Didn't I say but they we say? will make a less expensive variety? Okay, I meant to say. It was cute. No, it's good. Yeah. It's I'm good. very inclusive. You're involved. Yeah, I'm you're a in, very you're inclusive in person. In Any new partnerships? Like the last, I mean, this was over a year ago, but I remember them partnering with uh, maybe someone in Italy for the body back then. Any anything mm. significant? Right. So you're talking about CPC. Uh, group that actually is going to deliver the entire body in carbon they call it so mm -hmm. uh, the whole body on we believe a rolling chassis is the way it'll show up eventually mm -hmm. so already the first bink has arrived so they could figure the wiring harness and all that stuff in since then uh, CTS batteries out of um, Korea uh, they partnered with them they signed like a deal like a mutual deal where it's like uh, the part owners, Aptera's part owners, as I understand it, of CTS, and probably vice versa. I don't know all the details of it. But they're going to be making the battery pack, sending them for the launch edition, and eventually they're going to set up the equipment that they use right here in Carlsbad, and they'll be made on site. Right, not right here in Carlsbad. <laughs> now who's right in there Carlsbad? In Carlsbad. <laughs> Carlsbad. So that, that's, a big, that's a big partnership, uh, is the yeah. one of the CTC batteries. Uh, they mentioned... Um, some smaller local things they're doing with some of the local companies to get parts out quicker, like the frame, mm. uh, the aluminum frame they're going to use. Huh? I think it's aluminum. That might be made just at a local shop there in Carlsbad, or it might be made even in Detroit and shipped over, mm. at least for the PI builds, the ones they're working on now. And then when they scale to where they can order 20,000 of them, then you can use a bigger manufacturer, get a better price, just like anything. Besides financial, which is always a... a a hurdle. Do you know, are there any other um, significant challenges that Aptera is facing at the moment? Well, the one thing that we mentioned about the frames, they were just talking about this recently. Some of the parts that they would order in, you know, 20,000 at a time, they have to have small orders. So now the challenge is you have to have a supplier for right now just to get your, your production and tent builds done. Then maybe <laughs> another supplier that can give you 20,000 of these parts, or 2,000 rather, for the launch edition, and then maybe another supplier. So they're not all the same companies. It's not like you can go to, to a big supplier and say, I need 2,016 door hinges or whatever. 
They're like, no, call us when you're ready to order 40,000. So yeah. that's a problem now. You've got this like tiered supplier system mm -hmm. where they're working with one company today, but that relationship's going to probably go away because they're going to use a bigger company. So that's one of the things that's, I don't know if it's slowing them down at all. It's, it's always the same thing. When the money shows up, the wheels start turning. And they're already working on building the PI builds now, as you and I, the three of us are talking here. So that's moving forward. Uh, with the capital, what's it called, U.S. capital? Mm -hmm. The, the funding is going to be there. Like as soon as the SEC approves everything, like weeks later, we expect funding or they expect funding to show up. So a lot of the bottlenecks we had are gone, but there's a couple of new ones that have been created by the staggered build. Cool. That and makes I didn't, any sense. Was there a new like estimated time on when people will get their the first uh, edition? We're all being told 2025 now. Okay, um, just the general. We've been told that, and we're not a launch edition. We're a launch edition, but we're not an accelerator. Mm -hmm. And we've been told 2025. But they're confident they can make that mark. They expect in September to have a rolling uh, production intent build. So once that's rolling, that's testing. Eventually you crash it, you know, and they're going to have like a 16 or whatever of these things. So we're actually – we're we're – more confident than we've ever been that mm. 2025 we're going to see the first deliveries yeah and cool. once they have those pi builds they can do the validation make sure everything's ready to go then you they will be able to order from the large manufacturers that are ready to supply mm -hmm. a, a big number for production yeah yeah 40 cars a day or then whatever. they'll know yeah. no more changes let's go mm -hmm. cool well yeah, so what's going gonna... Yeah, it's going. It's great. It looks like I didn't miss too, too much in the last year, um, at least of the major, major things. I'm glad it's still plugging along and they didn't, you know, have to have to call it quits. So that's there was some big changes, though. Sarah Hardwick's no longer on the team. Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. He was the chief marketing officer for yeah. since the beginning. And even since the original edition, they were her clients for her own marketing firm. Mm -hmm. So oh. she's off doing her own thing. She's got her, her started own, her own business. Yeah, she's she's helping companies with crowdfunding for startups specifically like she did for aptera she's uh -huh. doing that for a couple like geoship is one company she's working with they've got the domes that you know you can set up little communities of these domes and live like, off the grid mm -hmm. there's a there's a company that's uh, working on vtols electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles she's working with them to secure yeah. their crowdfunding because she was so amazing what she did for aptera you know that she's made that into an entire business and it's mm -hmm. it's pretty Pretty cool stuff she's into, but she's still, you know, everybody's still buddies. Yeah, you know, it's not like you're out here, sir. Yeah, yeah, everybody's still yeah. good. Uh, someone else left too. A couple of the big players whose kind of their job is over left. Some of the, well, at least one of the um, designers moved on to to uh, Lucid mm -hmm. recently. Okay. Yeah, but you can imagine for a long time his work is done for Aptera. What's he going to do? Right. They're not going to work on probably the next car right now. So. Yeah. So there's been some changes in personnel for sure, but yeah. all amicable, all for all for the right reason. Uh, so anything that you guys are excited about that has happened recently? Wait, did you guys get to ride in one yet? Oh yeah, yeah. We got to ride in that two Alpha. years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, two years ago. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the gamma, of course, we were there for the reveal, and we were there for the factory tour before. We got to sit in it. We did not get to ride in that, mm -hmm. and we've haven't gone back to California yet because we really want it to be worth it. Mm -hmm. to our audience you know mm -hmm. uh, so we're ready to go mm -hmm. uh, but we want it to be something that we can gather that's really valuable to our audience and we think until there's really a rolling production intent build that's when we'll go if there's any way we could be there for the crash testing of course we would want to do that if it not happens in, in the it US. for the no crash not testing. in it kaz not in it no. that's good that's good yeah um, but near it it'd be yeah. fun to have professionals to do that Perfect. yeah yes. i hope so it would be fun to watch though stuff yeah. crash oh. and, yeah. yeah yeah so now yeah, we're going back it's just a matter of when is it the right time for our audience for us to go back mm -hmm. i'm so looking forward to getting back into it i've been waiting to look at stuff until i talk to you guys and so now i'm going to go back and okay what i mean and then you'll say well they had that wrong they had that wrong <laughs> oops <laughs> no all right so drive the lightning thank you guys so much for filling me in on what i've missed with Aptera in the past year. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to talk and uh, hopefully we can chat again in the near future.
Yeah, I hope so. Thank you for having us on, Kat. It's always a privilege to talk to you. We love your channel. We've been yes. subscribed since a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we watch everything you put out, even if we don't care. Yes. Like if it's about Tesla, we don't, we're not excited, but we watch it because we like you. So. <laughs> I feel loved. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good. You are, sir. You are, you are very much. Where's that? Oh, yes. there. Oh. <laughs> That's love right there. We're going to end on that. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Thanks again to Chad and Sarah for taking time out of your day to talk to me and fill me in on what's been happening with Aptera. If you guys don't know their channel, please check out Drive the Lightning. They don't just do Aptera videos, and I love watching their stuff. They're great people. Can't wait to meet them in person someday. So be sure to subscribe to their channel too. For my content in the near future, I'm going to be focusing more on my car, what I'm currently driving, which is the Tesla Model 3, and just helping people out who are either brand new to EVs or are thinking about switching to an EV. So if you originally subscribed to this channel just for Aptera stuff, I'm not going to be doing as much. So if you need to unsubscribe, no hard feelings, totally fine. But just know, once I get my Aptera, there will be a ton of videos on that vehicle. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.